Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I am here today to share with you this beautiful doily book that I created. I am in a swap with my friend Julie, and her channel is Paper Play with Julie K, and I will put the link to her channel below. And we agreed to swap Christmas doily books, so I'm very excited about this. And thank you, Julie, for agreeing to swap again. I always enjoy our swaps so much. And for those of you who have never made a doily book before and you're interested in making a doily book, so many people have done so many videos on how to create doily books. If you just put in your uh, YouTube search bar doily books, you're going to get all kinds of videos. Um, I do have some uh, tutorials on doily books myself and I will link those here in the iCards and down below if you're interested. But you know, there's, there's many more, not just me. So just put that in your search bar and you'll find all kinds of amazing ideas and inspiration because doily books come in all shapes and sizes and themes. But I just think they're beautiful, fluffy gorgeousness. I love them. So this is my Christmas themed one that I created for Julie. And I started with these images that I got last year from um, Shabby Art Boutique in her last year's Christmas kit. So those are the digitals that I used to create this doily book and I printed them all out on fabric. So I used this angel and I of course stickled her because I can't help myself. And I created all of the um, images on these little patches I like to make or little fabric tags. So. Uh, every image is sewn down to a piece of fabric with cheesecloth in between. So I just love that effect. So this little beauty is just covered with things from my stash and beautiful things available at Angel Dream Crafts. And you will find the link to Angel Dream Crafts below also. And when I come across those things, I will make sure and point them out to you. Um, let's see. This is um, an applique that I had in my stash that I cut up um, into bits. But this peeking out here is one of Kim's trims that came in two colors. It came in like a champagne. Oh yeah, this is it right here. <laughs> and it came in a white. And so I cut it up and added bits of it everywhere. And then I, um, for this doily book, I wanted to do things a little bit differently than I normally have done. So what I did is on each doily, I hand sewed a bunch of bits before I put the pages together. So I hand sewed on uh, the image, all the stuff in the back on top of the doily, I hand sewed on and I hand sewed on buttons and the beautiful beads and pearls that you see, I hand sewed those on. And then I went back and added the bling um, after I put the uh, everything together. So I added this bling from my stash. This is um, from a set of earrings that my mom um, sent. And then I put um, these, I love these beaded dangle pearl cluster flowers, so pretty. I made a bow out of some eyelash trim with silver in it and then added a piece of bling to the mill. And then of course the layers all the layers that dangle off the doily book that make it so fluffy and yummy. I used this beautiful um, lace that I had in my stash. It's just, I love the gold detail on it. And then here are all the dangly bits. There is a fringe trim in several colors and then dangles and tulle and just craziness, all the things. Um, I did tie some jingle bells to the end of this bow and I there's a lot of jingle bells on here because you know I had to it's Christmas and I added this uh, bulb pin which you can find bulb pins in different colors at um, Kim's shop and she also is starting to carry enameled charms which bring nothing but joy to my heart I love an enameled charm so on this gold bulb pin I added a jingle bell this beautiful snowflake charm and a tassel to the front and I had this um, this trim it's like a what would you call that it's like uh, I don't know I don't know what you would call it but I got it I think at Hobby Lobby <laughs> and I love it and so I put that around the edge um, 
I tied everything together. Each page is tied on individually with this beautiful vintage um, seam binding. Is that what it's called? It comes in these little these little doohickeys. Yeah, seam binding, like some vintage seam binding, lace seam binding. So each page is individually um, tied onto a metal ring is what I decided to use this time. I use like a different closure almost every time now, but this is what I use this time. And I liked that the pages were individually tied on. That way I could untie, you know, I could take them off and work on them individually, which made things much easier. <laughs> and then I tied it together with this beautiful lace right here. I just love it. And I, I doubled it up because you can never have enough lace hanging off of it, my opinion. But lace just is so pretty. So then we're going to open her up. All right, and I'm going to start over here on a pocket page. I um, typically put a pocket page at, on the back of the cover and on the back of the back cover. So I like to add two pocket pages. So let me take this out before I show you what that is and show you the page itself. On this page, I didn't do any hand sewing on this one, but I did make a pocket using doilies and I uh, did put one of my fabric tags from uh, one of Shabby Art Boutique's um, printables and I added lots of bling and of course these beautiful flowers are from Angel Dream Crafts. I love them. I added a little bridal snippet there. I added some of this tool trim underneath the doily in the back and uh, you can get tool trim in all sorts of different colors at Angel Dream Crafts. And what I did differently on this doily book than I normally do is I added the dangles in between the pages. Normally I'm putting the dangles on top of the pages but I decided to try this and I like it much better. So the dangles are coming out from underneath uh, in between the two doily pages. Then I added this little printable. This these printables here are from My Porch Prints and it came in an advent numbers or calendar numbers printable. So I've added that on a rose gold bulb pin and this adorable little enamel reindeer charm. I can't with how cute that is. It's so adorable. So what I created to put in this pocket here is when you, um, in the advent calendar printout it came out with bigger it had bigger tags and then it had these mini tags they're so stinking cute so I have created um, like a little advent um, countdown for her on a metal ring and it has all the numbers all the way to Merry Christmas and I of course stickled them all and they're just adorable and then I added a bunch of fibers to the other side of this metal ring. So super cute, and that is from My Porch Prince. And there's my dog. Right, so he might not be done barking, but I'm hoping he is. Let me go on to the next page. So I used this adorable printable, printable from Shabby Art Boutique. I love it. Ruger, come here, bud. It's okay. My goodness. And I hand sewed all the bits onto this page too. I put this beautiful trim in the back. I love it. Some more of the pleated tool trim. Um, that's actually under the doily, so I didn't sew that one on. But I sewed all these bits on this red applique that I cut up, this pink applique. And I, of course, sewed on the pearls and buttons. And I sewed on these bits of this gold applique back here. And then, um, then I added uh, some other embellishments with glue. This beautiful, look how much sparkle is in that, just that tiny little stone. I love it. Um, a piece of pink vintage jewelry that my mom sent me. Thanks, mom. And then I sewed on these bits. It's just cute. I love it. And then I glued this bow on. And then for the uh, dangle bits, I had a pink. A fringe trim and then I added uh, beautiful rhinestones to the bottom of each one of these dangles which this dangle lace is the basket weave dangle from Angel Dream Crafts one of my favorite dangles absolutely love it so that's there and so now let me show you the next page I mean look at all the yumminess coming off of this love oh and then I added this little um, gold bulb pen with these teeny tiny jingle bells that I got from my friend Pam. 
um, at one of her sales. Love. So cute. All right, and now these two pages. They're just so shabby Christmas. I love them. So I used a little Christmas tree, and I, of course, stickled it because, you know, you gotta. And then um, I sewed on a white shabby flower, and then I hand sewed on the rhinestone trim because I can't help myself. I just can't. I love it. I love every bit of it. And I sewed on buttons and pearls and little Schwarzky crystals here and there and this applique. And then I used another one of Kim's flowers. And then I glued on this bow and this piece of bling. And I added a gold bulb pin with another little um, tag for my porch prints. And then another enamel snowflake because they're just gorgeous. And uh, for this one, I used this like, it's this, it's like a fringe trim that has tool strips and then these fiber strips that have little sequins on them. I don't know. It's just the cutest thing. So that's what I added there actually over the pleated tool. And then um, there's more basket weave dangle, which I added the crystals to. And then there is this dangle here. This dangle is another dangle from Kim's store. I don't remember what it's called, but anyway, she has the best dangles. If you're looking for dangles, dangle laces, she's got it. So on this page, I use the stocking. Isn't it cute? It's just, it's adorable. And this was a very pink pinkalicious um, page. I enjoyed every bit of sewing this thing together. So I sewed everything that is on top of the doily I sewed it, sewed it on. Where is the doily? All right, so the doily is in between these two layers right there. So everything on top of that, I sewed that on. So all these pearls, all of that uh, background, which is like a gold bridal trim back here. It's beaded, it's so pretty. I covered most of it up, but you can see bits of it peeking out. Then I added uh, this pink lace that I cut up into bits and sewed around the edge. And then um, all the pearls I sewed, and there's little crystals here and there, and buttons. Um, one of these little shabby pink flowers. Like, I, where, I think I have it right here. This little tiny rosette trim. I love to cut those out individually and then sew them on. I just think they're cute and shabby. So sick and adorable. And then I did um, glue these on from my stash after I had already put everything together, I was like, let's add some more bling. And then I put another one of these uh, bulb pins with the little tiny jingle bells that I got from Pam. And then here's, oh, did I show you the dangly bits? No, I didn't. Getting ahead of myself. So this one has the pink fringe. So I used fringe in white, pink, and red on this book. And then there's more of the uh, basket weave dangle which I put pearls at the end and there's more of this other dangle from Kim's shop that I added clay flowers in white and pink let me see if I can find the pink one right there so cute because I just like there to be little fun bits at the bottom right it's adorable and then I added more of the uh whatever we're going to call this <laughs> this tool and fiber fringe <laughs> on top there so cute. So then we got another lovely red and gold page that has mistletoe, right? Adorable. And um, you can actually see where I've sewn this on, but I don't care. I think it's cute that way. So I sewed on all the red bits and this one's like full of nothing but like sequin trim. So it's in white and red and gold. Oh, and now there's the phone. I'll be right back. I tell you, it never fails. You go to film and just everything keeps happening. All right, so back to this page. I don't even remember where I was. I sewed on all the bits. Yes. <laughs> um, on the bottom of this one, I have more of the pink fringe. And then I have this beautiful, beautiful lace that my friend Paula sent me. Thank you, Paula. I absolutely love it. I've been hoarding it and I used a little bit of it here. Not too much, because, you know, <laughs> I'm still hoarding. 
And then um, here's more of the tangles with the pearls and the flowers. Beautiful bling piece, this cute red bow. And then I added a bulb pin with a teeny tiny little bell. <laughs> so cute. Another one of the My Porch Prints mini advent calendar tags and the enamel reindeer. So super cute. And then here is the pocket on the last page. And here, let me take this out so you can see. So um, I just folded a doily in half to create the pocket. I used this beautiful, the last piece of this trim. I love this trim so much because it has two tool layers and the top layer is polka dotted coming off of this pretty flower trim. So I used my very last bit of it um, right here covering the pocket. Um, here's the pocket. I used this, uh, first I put down the gold, a piece of gold applique and then I put this really pretty gold flower. And then I added bling to these flowers. And then I got this really pretty angel pin from my friend Pam. I added that and then underneath is more of, maybe you could see that trim better this way. So there's the doily pocket, but right underneath that doily pocket is this stuff that I don't know what we're calling it, a tool and fiber fringe. <laughs> so cute. I love it. So that is there and another bulb pin with the teeny tiny um, bells. And then in this pocket, I made a tag. So I hand sewed this tag because, you know, again, it's me and that's what I love to do. And that is a printable from uh, Shabby Art Boutique from that same Christmas kit. And so I sewed on all the bits and then I added a bulb pin with a teeny tiny little jingle bell and another one of those adorable enamel reindeer charms. And I put this little pull tag on the top. Super cute. And it fits right down in that pocket. I love it. It's so, so cute. And all right. And so on the back, um, I typically do this when I make a doily book is I put, let me get all the dangles down. <laughs> I like to make a flower page um, on the back page. So I started by ruffling up this beautiful trim and then uh, I put a, another um, embroidered mesh on top of that. And then this, oh, I love this. I've also been hoarding this beautiful pink trim. I put a gathered a layer of that. And then I put the doily on top, the doily page. Then I added the tool trim. And then um, this same trim that I am tying the book with, I gathered here for this layer. Then I added one of the um, gold applique flowers that's right here. Get in, in the camera. That's right here. I also put right here, but then I put um, the beautiful beaded um, dangle cluster flower, pearl cluster flower, sure, um, right there on the back. And then I added a bulb pin with another snowflake a tiny jingle bell and a tassel. And then I put pearls all the way down these strands on the back. And then I added another one of those uh, fiber bows with a piece of bling. And it's just so cute. So let me try to get this tag back in there. It, I had so much fun creating this, Julie. I hope that you love it. Um, and thank you again for swapping with me. And please, I would love for you to leave me a comment and let me know what you think of my very full <laughs> doily book. And when I receive mine from Julie, I will be sure to make a video and share it with you. And like I said before, there is a link to Julie's channel below. So please go over and check it out. And thank you all for watching and I will see you on the next one.